we go. All right. Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Shemayim. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. You know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect, to the sheep, to the Bayad that will die. You know, let's start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash. You know, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, tell me this truth, and I still teach it to this day, making their body a living sacrifice out there in the highways and byways. You know? Um, this is a, a pre-camp lesson, if you will. You know, just driving to camp right now, and uh, you know what what type of, what what best way to be, you know, um, this woman right here. What best way to be then than, than to be in the spirit? <clears throat> you know? You gotta get yourself in the spirit. You gotta pray to the Lord so that you know once you go to camp out there, you be in the right set of um, right um, state of mind. You know? Be in the right spirit, which is your mind. You know, um, but yeah, so in the book of Matthew chapter 24, right? It speaks about that, you know, um, no man, um, uh, I, I believe it says no man, no angel, you know, and not even Yahweh Shai himself knows when Yahweh Shai is going to return. Only Yahweh knows, right? So that's a, that's a, 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 a straightforward statement. No one knows when the return of the King of Kings, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, is going to be. Only the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, knows when Yahweh Shai is going to return. And just know that when Yahweh Shai returns, there's going to be judgment. You know, there's going to be a lot of... The, the scripture says that the slain of the Lord shall be many. There shall be many, there should be many you know, people being slain by the Lord. Being slain by the Lord, man. Just know that. Now... Why, why am I bringing this up? That no man knows when your house shot is gonna come back. Because I realized one thing: you Christians, man, you Christians love to to use that as a. Let's lock your brother. Let me close the windows. You you Christians love to use that that precept to to I don't know to um. Basically, for lack of better words, to allow you to stay in sin. It's like an excuse for your bullshit, man. I realize this, man. Because, yes, no man or angel or Yahushua knows when Yahushua is going to return. But does that mean for you to still keep sinning? Does that mean for you to not, you not, does that make... It okay for you not to search out Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> the scripture says, though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall not tarry. So though, though it make it seem like time is passing on and the Lord is not coming, um, you know, he's not gonna, I can't tell you he's gonna come tomorrow, right? So though it seem that, that, that time is, is, is passing on, it don't give you the right. It don't give you a pass to keep sinning. When are you going to search for the Lord? When are you going to decide to repent? When are you doing? When are you going to decide to come back to the Lord, man? The scriptures clearly say, man, seek thy Creator in thy youth, while the evil days come not. Just because you don't know that you have the day, the exact day, time that your house shot is going to return. Don't give you a pass or, a, or an okay for you to sin. Because a lot of you Christians have this mentality like, no one knows when your house is going to come back, so I'm going to repent in the last day. You think you think that, the, hey man, once you see them nuclear missiles come down, it's too late for you, man, if you're not part of the elect. Not just the nuclear missiles, man, before that. While we in the midst of Jacob's trouble, 
when you see when you see martial law, when you see the the the, the military breaking in your, your neighbor's house, and you see that they going neighbor to neighbor, and your house is next, and you don't have that protection, that hedge over you, man. You don't have your howl by Shimei Hashem protecting you. You you continue to sin. You know you 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 continue to 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 um to be in a carnal state of mind, which to be carnal is enmity to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, which makes you an enemy, pursuant to the book of Romans, chapter 8. You continue to, to, to um, act in your wicked ways, thinking about Yahweh Shai is not going to come back soon. Hey, this even a scripture that says, if that evil servant says, my Lord delayed his time, roughly paraphrasing it, man. You, you don't think that the Lord's going to come soon. You you a wicked servant, man. You are a wicked servant, man. Not knowing the time of your house shot returning does not give you a pass or an okay or an excuse for you to continue in, in wicked ways, you know, just because you don't know when your house shot is going to come back. The scripture says, right, a, a prudent man foresees evil and he hideth himself. Now, we're measuring the time diligently. We're seeing what's happening around us. We're being circumspect, right? We're watching our surroundings. We're watching the news. We're watching the the the, um, the social media platforms. You know, we're watching what's happening. There's an all-time high in, um, inflation happening, and it's gonna get worse. There's gonna be a famine of food. Our food, our food resources, are are being fucked with by the elites. There's gonna be a famine of food. It's gonna be a, a, a famine, a famine of the word. You know, eventually after the famine of the food. The economy is gonna crash. <clears throat> right? This is what we do. We're measuring the time diligently. We see what's happening. There's rumors of wars. Right? So we see what's happening. And a prudent man foreseeth evil and he hideth himself. So we see what's happening. We're measuring the time diligently. We're being circumspect. So how do how do how does he for, that's the foreseeing the evil? So he hiding himself. How did he hide himself from that evil man by getting into the scriptures? By learning, by learning the truth. You know, by get, um getting away from from all that Chris, Christianity bullshit, man. That Christianity um, doctrine, getting away from that. You know, <clears throat> in the Book of Romans, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's in chapter thirteen or chapter eleven. You know, verse verse seven, if I'm not mistaken. I always get those two chapters, you know, confused or mixed up. But it says, "It is high time to awake out of sleep, for salvation is nearer than we believe." Salvation is nearer than we believe, man. The Lord Yahweh Shai, the Lord Yahweh, He's getting ready to send the Lord Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> the end is manifesting already, man. The end is manifesting. We're li we're living in 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 beautiful, scary times, man. Yes, I said it. Beautiful, scary times. Scary in the flesh because it's gonna get bad out here, man. It's gonna be a lot of suffering, a lot of killing. The scripture says um that um. The Lord's gonna show in the days, because if not, no flesh shall be saved, but for the elect's sake. That's how bad it's gonna be out here, man. That if it, if it wasn't for the elect, right, the one forty-four thousand and the large multitude, if it wasn't for them, man, that no flesh shall be saved. That's crazy, man. Let that sink in. Well, you know, you just you're bugging, man. You just you just reading a book. You're just reading a book. You don't believe what a book says. So you get all your information from a book, you dummy. Everything you learn comes from a book. 
So you put faith in, in, in your book, and I'm going to put faith in my book. Because my book says the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. So you either repent and come back to the Lord, or then they shall know it by death. You know? Then the same shall know it by pain after death. Or the same shall know it by death after pain, man. Or by pain. Hey man, you gonna you gonna you gonna know it. You it's gonna be you gonna know it by, by pain, man. <laughs> Regardless, if you're gonna know about pain if you don't repent, come back to the Lord. And I'm speaking to you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American, man, and you speckled birds. You guys are the true Israelites, man. It's time for you guys to fucking wake up, man. It's time for you to fucking wake up and understand who you are, man. You're not no fucking Christian. Because all this Christianity religion is just, is just, you know, controlled by the elites, the so-called white man. You're putting, you're putting the white man as your God. Wake up out of that spell, man. That's the witchcraft you're under. You're not no, no black person. You're not no Latino. You know? You are an Israelite, man. You are a biblical Israelite. You are part of the chosen nation. The Lord has, has given you laws, statutes, and commandments for you to follow. How hard is that, man? The scripture says that, um, um, I forgot how, how the beginning goes. But you gotta, it says you gotta follow the laws and that the laws are not grievous. Meaning the laws are not hard to do. Stop eating pork. Stop eating eating shrimp. Stop eating um, crab and lobster. Stop messing with, 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 with homeboy's wife. Stop flirting with homeboy's wife. Stop committing adultery. Stop committing idolatry. Worshipping all these fake gods. All you fucking... Um, what you call it? You, you jakes, man. You love to be on some spiritual shit like the fucking white woman, man. I'm spiritual. I follow Buddha. Hey, I, I was looking at a, um, I was doing a job, right? And I drove by some jakes. They had a, uh, they had a, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, uh, damn, what's the word? When these, um, um, Landscaping. There we go. They had a, they had their own little landscaping um, company, right? And they had their own trucks, or, trucks and whatever, with the equipment and all that shit. Yo, they, their truck on the whole side, right, of the vehicle said, um, "How did it go? No one is tougher than Mother Nature." This is what it said on the side, man. You, you Jakes is bugging the fuck out, man. You guys are bugging the fuck out. That mother nature bullshit, man, that's the worshiping of the heaven, the queen. The queen of heaven. That's the worshiping of the queen of heaven shit, man. That's that effeminate spirit. That's the demonic spirit you're under, man. You guys love to put mother and woman on everything. Mothership. No. No, you dummy. It's the fathership, man. When your high with shot comes and crack them clouds, man, and and, and the dead and the dead in Hamashiach rise first, and the ones that don't, that don't perish that didn't see death go up there and meet the dead in Hamashiach and then the church. They gonna be in the fathership, man. Not no mothership. Get out of get 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 out of this effeminate spirit, man. Another thing. A lot of you jakes, man. The scripture says, right. And I'm not even trying to get into into woman, so I'm gonna generalize it, man. Cause you woman is fucking bugging the fuck out. When you when you first of all, the Lord is dealing with men, and I, and and I don't mean that as, as the Lord is not is not um. I don't mean that as like you know the Lord don't deal with women. I'm talking about his ministry. All right, don't 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 mix shit up with my words, man. All right, I'm talking about the ministry because there is certain aquas out there that are in order. Certain. Now, I'm talking about the ministry, man. To to preach this word, 
to teach this word, to prophesize, you know, to learn about God. Only a man, a, a Israelite, can teach you about God. See, God left his instructions to the Israelites. So only an Israelite man can teach you about God. Now, that being said, what's my point? You men... A lot of you men start dating these witches, man. You start dating these fucking wicked ass women that fucking go to church. And then what do you do? Because you want that box. She starts telling you, let's go to church. And then out of nowhere, you get an effeminate ass spirit, man. You get an, an effeminate ass spirit on you. And you try to act holy and down. Now you wearing fucking a, a suit and a tie. Now you dressing all preppy. Now you speaking different. You can't even you can't even dap up a nigga or drink a beer. Like you, you so fake, man. You guys are so fucking fake about it. You know what I'm saying? You got an effeminate demonic spirit on you, and 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 everything that you're learning about God, you're learning through a woman. You letting the woman teach you. You letting the woman have power over you. You try to act holy than thou because now you feel like you got to act right in front of your woman so that you can try to be holy. Get the fuck out of here, man. The Lord is not going to come back and be like, oh, he's doing right by his, he's doing right by his woman. He's, he's, he's a simp. He's a pushover. Happy wife. Happy life. You know? We, oh, that's the guy. That's the man of the Lord. No. The man of the Lord were fucking tough men. They were masculine. They had order, man. It's vexing, man. It's vexing. What type? What type of? What type of world we? This is why. This is why we need Yahweh Shai, man. This is why we need the Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, to come and redeem us. We need salvation, man. We need salvation. You know. <clears throat> You gotta get yourself in the right spirit. You men. You gotta get yourself in the right spirit. Stop acting like children. Scripture says, when I was a child, I thought as a child. I did as a child. But when I became a man, I put away the childish things, man. And how do you become a man? You become a man through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. You be re reborn again. Scripture says, as the outer man perished, the inward man is renewed day by day. What's that inward man? That's your spirit, man. Who you are. You are reborn. You are a new creature. You put away the, the childish things, man. You put away the worldly things. You cannot, be, you cannot be controlled by a woman out here, man. You cannot give your power unto a woman lest it destroy its kings. Pursuit to the book of Proverbs chapter 31, verse 3, if I'm not mistaken, man. We are men in this thing, man. We are men. That's why these women, I don't even pay these women no mind, no attention, man. It's a lot of men out here, they just simps. Yes, we love women. Yes, we check out women, yes. But you cannot give your power onto a woman. You cannot give your power onto a woman, man. The times that we in right now, man, the time that we in, you, this is not the time of slack. This is not the time to slack. This is the time that we got to search Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai 10,000 times more. There's a scripture that even says that we got to search the Lord even more. I forgot what exact number it says. But hey, that, that's, the, that's, the right, that's the right spirit to be in. Perfect example, King Solomon. He didn't ask the Lord for riches. He didn't ask the Lord for the downfall of his enemy. He didn't ask the Lord for, for woman. He asked the Lord for wisdom. Wisdom. Sophia, man. That's that true woman. Which Sophia is just the name of, of wisdom, man. You know, because the Lord um calls um wisdom as um he he um how does it, how do I word it? <clears throat> He mentions wisdom as a her. 
you know, seek her, you know, seek her, and, and, and she should dwell with you, you got to seek wisdom, man, you got to seek wisdom, especially in these last days, you know, and this is just spiritual talk, you know, not, not no exact point, I started off talking about, you know, um, that no one knows the day of the Lord, man, Hey, no one knows the day of the Lord, but blessed is the servant that the Lord shall find so doing when the Lord returns. Not knowing the, the, the day that the Lord's returning, man, it's not a path for you to continue in your wickedness. You got to continue doing this work, man. The scripture says, right? Um, How does it, how does it go from Paris? I like it, brothers. Um, give no rest. Until Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is the people before the place. Give no rest until Jerusalem is a praise in this world. Roughly paraphrasing it, man. I Meaning we're not, hey, Jerusalem is not a praise. We're not a praise right now. Yahweh by Shem Shai is not a praise right now, man. Yahweh Shai comes from the tribe of Judah. He is an Israelite, the king of kings. He, we are, he is not praised right now, man, through the whole world. The elect is praising him, but the world is not. So give no rest until Jerusalem is a praise in the world. <clears throat> this is why we out here going in the highways and byways. This is why the elders and apostles are going out in the highways and byways. We're giving the we're giving we're giving no rest, man. To the Lord is, is established on this side, man. To the Lord is, is praised on this side. You're doing the work, man. And if you're not a teacher, you're not a prophet, if that's not your lot, then study, man. Study. Ask the Lord for wisdom. You know, find out how you can help out the ministry. With clothing, with food, with water, with money. Find out, man, whatever you can do. Just a little bit, man. We are truly in the last days, man. We are truly in the last days. The chip, the chip is already here. So now prophecy just has to happen for in order for them to then make it mandatory. Like the scripture says in the book of Revelation, man. Rich or poor, you know, free or free or in bond. You know, all people are going to be forced to take this, man. You won't be able to buy or sell. This this rights device is going to be the ultimate solution for all your problems. This is how they're going to, this is how they're going to picture it to you. And just know that this rights device, that is your solution for your worldly problem. That's why the scripture says, um, he that, he that uh, saves his life shall lose it. And that's what you're doing, man. But he that he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. And that's that eternal life we're seeking for. You know, we're seeking for the things not seen, which is eternal. You're seeking for the things that are seen, which are temporary, man. I shall he that he that shall save his life shall lose it, man. Roughly paraphrasing it. And this chip, which they're gonna picture it to you as a solution to all your problems, is how you're gonna try to save your life, man. And, and still be able to function in this wicked society. And that's going to be your downfall. That's going to be your downfall. It is high time to wake up out of sleep, man. And look, ultimately, this is the warning that we're giving you as a watchman. The Lord has set up watchmen on the watchtower to give warning of him. This is how the Lord always works. He's giving a warning to his people, you know, through his prophets. The Lord always worked this way. Now, we know that, that all you guys are not going to get it. We know that. So it's not, hey, man. 
it's not that 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 we trying to convince you. No, the scripture says, "My sheep hear my voice." Many are called, but few are chosen. The Lord already has a chosen people, man. The Lord already has a chosen people. He already knows who's the elect. He knows who's gonna wake up. Who he is gonna decide to wake up. Because if he don't choose you, then the Lord has ultimately keep you in the spirit of slumber. The Lord has placed has placed the spirit of slumber on you. You are the you are the sleeping dead. You are the walking dead. You are a zombie. Literally, man. The Lord has given you eyes that you can't see. The Lord has given you ears that you can't hear. This is this is the spirit that the Lord has has put on you. If you are a two-third, man. Our job is to give warning. Our job is to complain. Crying, crying and sighing, man. That's what we're doing. The Lord's going to take care of his people, the ones that are crying and sighing, man. I'm not no boo-hoo crying. We out here, this is how a man cries, man. We out here complaining to the Lord. Fuck this wicked place, man. Fuck this wicked way. Fuck these wicked two-thirds, man. We out here revealing the man of perdition, which is Esau Edom, man. He was a man created for destruction. This traffic is crazy, man. Because hey man, this when this traffic, man, you know, there's a lot of demons in this traffic, man. This, this traffic shit is all demonic, man. And if you don't see that, I don't give two shits, man. Fuck your simpleton ass, man. When there's a lot of ass traffic, man, there's a lot of fucking demons just roaming around waiting to fuck with you, man. Demons just be jumping on people. People, people be acting crazy, man. That's gonna be wise, be spiritual, man. Don't be getting carnal. You know? <clears throat> Can't be getting carnal in this thing. But yeah, if you if you can't see it, if you can't see it, the Lord has blinded you. It's straight, straightforward like that, man. The Lord, the Lord has blinded you. That, that's what it is. Only you, that's what I said. Has Israel not obtained what he seeketh for? But the elect has obtained it. Only the elect is gonna see this, man. Only the elect is gonna see that the Lord, that the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. Only the elect is gonna see that that this Christianity religion is fucking bullshit. Only the elect is gonna see that 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 a woman is a distraction, that you're not supposed to give a woman your power. Only the elect is going to see that the, 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 the philosophy, which is the wine of Babylon, is pure wickedness. Only the elect is going to come out of her. And this is the beautiful part, man, about, about you know, coming to this truth. This is, this is the beautiful part. Let's see, this woman lets me go in. Let me cut in front of you, woman. <clears throat> so knowing that we're in the last times, right? Knowing that we're in the last days, I mean. You gotta be wise, man. The Lord says, "Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove." You gotta be harmless as a dove out here, man. You cannot be carnal. You cannot be getting yourself into into trouble. You gotta be in the right spirit, man. You gotta be in the right, right spirit. The Scripture says, "To be carnal mind is enmity, meaning an enemy to God." You gotta be spiritual in this fight, man. We're gonna go through a lot of more things. And, and, and from now, you know, to later on, to the return of the outside, we're going to go through a lot of more things, worse things, persecution for, and, 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 and those things, you know, are going to be tougher than for us to get into a stupid little fight out here, be carnal with somebody and get yourself locked up, get carnal with your woman, get yourself locked up, you know, hey man, be wise, man.
what we're about to go through is going to be way worse than these little fucking fights out here. These little arguments. I don't even argue with people no more, man. It's like, it's like you know, um, um, Jackie Chan says in his movie, in the Rush Hour, he says that he don't even argue with, um, how does it, I forgot how the fuck they worded it, but it's funny as hell. He says, um, something about how they don't argue with a, with a, with an idiot or something like that. And then, and then, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. Um, then how do I forget his name? The guy that plays, um, you know, um, um, Smokey and, um, and Friday. Man, I just had a moment. I forgot his name. I have it. I have it. I have his name in my mind, but I, I totally forgot. But anyways, he goes. He goes. He, he basically goes against what Jackie Chan said about how how um don't even argue with idiots or or something around those lines. And he's like, that don't even make sense. Or well, he, he just went against that. And Jackie Chan says, you're right. Like he just proved. Like I'm not gonna argue with an idiot, with an idiot, man. It's not worth it, man. You can't be calling on this thing. The point that I'm trying to say, we, we're, we're going to go through more difficult things, you know, and, and you cannot allow some simple, you know, um, low-level demon to fuck with you, getting you caught up, man. This is not the time to get caught up. This is not the time to be childish. This is the time for you to be, be you know, um, um, be austere. This is the time for you to be disciplined. This is the time for you to, you know, seek in the Lord. This is the time for you to be spiritual. Always be spiritual. This is this is a, a, a you know, a wise words from from the elders from Boston, man. They're always telling us that, man. Always be spiritual. In everything you do, be spiritual. And I agree with that, man. I agree with that. Don't be bringing your car, your canality to camp either, man. Be wise at camp, man. You camp leaders, what you doing, man? Oh man, you old man need it, nah, man. Anyways, see, this is why you gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta pay attention, man. I remember my pops when told my step, my step pops, you know. I call him my pops, you know. It's good, man. Respect them. I respect them. You know, um, he told me I'm not, I'm not. He said. I'm not worried about how you drive. I'm worried about how the other people around you drive. You know, and that shit, that shit's real, man. Because other people going to be doing stupid shit, man. You can be driving perfect, perfectly, you know, you can be driving perfect. Let's say it like that. And then someone's going to do some dumb shit, man. You gotta always be watching out. You gotta be circumspect, man. Even in the world, in, in these, you know, in these um simple things. You gotta be circumspect in, in everything you do, man. This is that wisdom. You know, and the Lord blesses you, man. You know, there's a lot of accidents of, of, of people doing stupid shit. The Lord has taken care of me, man. While I was in the truth. While I'm in the truth. This is this is the Lord, man. The Lord is beautiful, man. That's how the Lord takes care of you, man. You know? This is how the Lord takes care of you. But you can't be carnal. You, you can't be carnal. Stop being carnal. Put off the old man. A lot of you camp leaders, man. Well, hey, let me take that back. Let me take that back. Because I'm not going to hear talk about like I know all these camp leaders. Let me take this back. You know, but there's a camp leader that I know, man. And this man, you know, when I used to dwell with him, he was just a carnal man, the type of man that he'll get his own camp set up for his mouth, man, for running the way he runs his mouth. You know, and this is this is stuff that we learn. This is how we become circumspect. I learn from people's mistakes and their errors, man. Shit like that will get you caught up, man. And I hope I hope that man repented. You know. But shit like that will get you caught up. You can't be carnal in this walk, man. This is not, this is not, you can't be a nigga in the truth. That shit just don't mix together, man. You can't be a, you can't be a thug in this truth, man. Put off that old man. That carnality shit's gonna fuck people up, man. 
Even out here in camp, man, you can't try to act Mr. Tough Guy. You got to give this warning, that's it. It don't mean that we saw it, man. The man of the Lord, well, the man of the Lord are, are still, you know, tough men, serious men. But, but, that's why, look, this is a worldly saying that says, who you going to be afraid of? You going to be afraid of the man that's raw, raw, you know, um, screaming big mouth, or the guy that's silent in the back? Exactly, man. Why the fuck will you park like this? These people. This guy's taking two parking space. Crazy, right? <clears throat> Can't be carnal in this walk, man. You gotta be spiritual. You gotta walk with wisdom. The scriptures even say, if your ways please the Lord, he'll even make your enemies at, at ease with you or at peace with you, man. So, dude, focus on this work, man. Focus on the Lord. Hey, man, since I've been in this shoes, man, I've, I, you know, the hey, yes, we're going to be persecuted for this truth. Yes, I get hate all the time. But there's a lot of times that, you know, the Lord has just taken care of me, man. He has made my enemies at, at peace with me, at ease with me, man. So you got to be spiritual. You got to be spiritual. The Lord will take care of you. The Lord will take care of you. It's a lot, your brothers, for rambling. You know, I pray, I pray that this lesson is edifying to the sheep, to the elect. You know, I'm already over here. I'm going to find some parking space. You know, um, I'm going to finish off. I'm going to close out, you know. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Kodash. You know, um, and Lord willing, on to the next one. We're about to set up camp in a few. You know, Lord willing, on to the next one. Shalom, Yasharala. Shalom, Malakiyam. You know, Shalom.